Good afternoon, Brimfield Township and Facebook. This is the first video in a series of videos that I will be releasing looking at specific issues within the township and that I hope to be able to address as your trustee. In these series, we're going to look at a concern, provide context behind this concern, either historical references or current documentation, and then I'll provide a stance that I personally would take on this and how I would address those issues as your trustee. Where I want to start today is the local government fund. The local government fund is the main tax sharing mechanism in Ohio to share money with its local governments. So Ohio has a fund and they disperse those to the county who then disperses those to the municipalities such as townships, cities, and villages. The dollars we receive from this fund are based on a formula that at this time I believe is outdated, ineffective, and unfair to townships across Portage County. The formula for disbursement at the county level is voted on by all municipalities, so that means we have an opportunity to change this, but we must act on this with a good solid plan of how to change it. To understand the local government fund though, I wanna give you just a little historical context. In 1934, the state of Ohio enacted a sales tax. That sales tax was derived to provide some monies back to the counties and local governments. That came back in three funds, a county poor relief fund, a state public school fund, and then the local government fund. The local government fund initially was built up from the dollars left over from the county poor relief and state school fund. Now, those dollars that were determined for the counties were based upon the valuation or the value of real property, tangible personal property, and public utility property within the county boundaries over a five-year period. In 1945, there was changes to this plan, and this is important because this supports the proposal that I'm making that we change. In 1945, we went to a 75-25 split. This means that disbursement is now 25% of the equation. Before 1945, population had no drive on the formula. Now we say 25% of the funds are based upon population. The other 75 are still based upon the valuation of those properties. Now in the original statute, the counties made the decision of which townships got how much money based upon their needs. The county auditor was to assess and then provide monies based upon each entity's operating needs. We saw the dollar amounts that the, that the counties got fluctuate throughout the years with a few freezes on those dollars during the recession period. However, one of the biggest changes was in 1969 under Senate Bill 114. This allowed new rules for how counties disperse money. It's called the alternative method, and 80 out of 88 counties in Ohio have adopted this alternative method. Under the alternative method, now the townships, villages, and cities all have a voting right on the formula of disbursement. The, in order to pass a formula, the county commissioners must vote yes, the most populous city must vote yes, and the majority of villages, townships, and remaining cities must vote yes. That means if we work closely with our neighbors, we have a stance to stand on to push a change in this formula. Under the alternative method, the dollar amounts that the counties get to keep is based upon population. In Portage County, they can keep up to 50% of the total amount. So what does the local government fund look like for 2018? Now these numbers can change, but right now we're predicting that it's $3.5 million will be coming into Portage County. Currently, the county keeps roughly 40% of that, or they're going to keep roughly $1.4 million to the county. This is money that helps the county operate. The city of Kent, under the current formula, is keeping 20% of this money. The concern is, is that while they are the largest city, they have control over that money and that's where we need to make a change. For us in Brimfield, we are only getting $32,000 a year. This is our current money roughly we receive annually out of the total $3.5 million. And it only makes up about 0.4% of our township revenue. 
Why is that important to us? Because this is a number that we could potentially control and change. I believe the current disbursement formula in Portage County is wrong and it needs to be updated to meet our needs. If I was working with, your, with you as your trustee, my change and suggested change and to work with the other townships is going back to the 75-25 split. What does this mean? This means we would keep this Portage County at 40% and give every entity $20,000 base. So it doesn't matter who you are, you're gonna start with a base of 20,000. Then we would give 25% of the remaining funds based on population. The remainder 75% would be based upon the valuation of the properties within your boundaries. This means for Brimfield, right off the start between population in base, an increase of $12,600. So this number now grows to an additional $12,600 here. We are now up to $44,600. And we still have a large chunk of funds left over that will, that will be dispersed based upon valuation of properties within the township. So why do I think this formula is good and how much more dollars will increase? Without the valuations from the county auditor, I can't give you an exact amount. But I can tell you this, that the city of Kent and the larger cities who would take a large hit from 100% valuation would struggle to agree to any terms where it's going to take that much money from them. It would be beneficial for us. At 100% valuation, we know that this number of 44000 would actually increase over here to 139,000 annually coming into our township. My goal is to meet somewhere between the middle on these two numbers. So we don't affect the city of Kent as much as, as the 100% population rule would. However, we have fair disbursement and this is based upon historical data. We know that back in 1945 when the rule, around when the rule was originally created, this is what they intended. They wanted it based upon property valuations. So if we take the 25% population into the formula, the 75% valuation, we know at the minimum we're getting $44,000 annually. That number is going to increase much more because we have a lot of growth within the township. The other thing that this formula does, a 20,000 base, 25% population, and 75% valuation would allow the competition between the municipalities and the growth of businesses, homes, and upkeep of the cities, townships, and villages. So it not only benefits us, but it strives to make Portage County itself better. And that's what I'm looking to do, is make our township better and make the county within we live better. I hope you found this informative. If you have questions behind it, because it can be confusing, please reach out to me. You can reach me on my Facebook page and in my email account. And as usual, if you like the video, like it, share it, comment below anything you have. And thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you at BrimFest this afternoon. Have a great day.